presidency and what could be a potentially huge blow to Republican hopes of passing a tax reform plan. Florida Senator Marco Rubio now says that he cannot support the bill as it is if it does not increase the child tax credit that he's been pushing for. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang live for us in Washington, D.C., where a final version of this plan could be revealed as soon as tomorrow. Marco Rubio is certainly throwing a wrench into all of this. Yeah, this was an unexpected challenge, Rick. Congressional sources say they're focused on tomorrow when the Joint Commission on Taxation is expected to release a final score for this bill, which will paint a much clearer picture of what it means for Americans. But even though Republicans are optimistic, if Senator Rubio does in fact vote no, there is very little room for more defectors in the GOP quest for a victory. Scraping. President Trump expressed confidence Republicans in the House and Senate will pass the tax reform bill in the coming days. I think we will get there It'll be in a very short period of time. It will be the greatest Christmas present that a lot of people have ever received. The combined bill would eliminate the Obamacare mandate, double the standard deduction for individuals and married couples, and allow taxpayers to deduct a combined $10,000 from state and local income and property taxes. There's a lot of gives and take here at the end, and uh, we'll get it done. Negotiations hit a roadblock today after Florida Senator Marco Rubio threatened to vote against the bill. He's pushing for an expansion on the child tax credit. We're going to continue working with the senator, but we think we've made great strides and, frankly, pretty historic uh, movement in terms of the child tax credit. We're very proud of that work. Utah Senator Mike Lee says he's also on the fence. Republicans can only afford to lose two votes and still ensure delivery of the bill to President Trump by Christmas, which is what he has asked for. Democrats stand unified against the bill, arguing the biggest windfall would go to the wealthy and to corporations, which would see their taxes cut to 21 percent. It leaves a huge debt on the backs of the middle class, and then it also doesn't invest in infrastructure. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says a vote will happen on the final tax package next week. Vice President Pence has delayed a planned trip to the Middle East in case he's needed to break a tie. While the GOP is dealing with that Rubio roadblock, they're also celebrating a bit today because the House Freedom Caucus says it will support the bill. That is important because with more than 30 members, if they all unified against it, they could kill the measure. 